Okay, this video today is, is about how to multi-boot, how to triple boot Fedora 26 Mate or Mate edition with Windows 10 and the Ubuntu. Uh, uh, there is a bug on the on the Fedora Live Live DVD that you cannot. Uh, you start to install a, a app, a software, and then it becomes red only. I always have to to send this bug report to, to Fedora, so I had to, to screenshot the installation in order to, to make the to make this video to make the video. So this is after what you see now on desktop is, is after the installation. So pretty much. Um, I took some screenshots. Okay, uh, pretty much this is after the installation. Okay, yeah, the desktop looks, looks like this uh, when you boot it up. So I did, uh, so I tried to install, uh, I, 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 I could install um, XPad, you, but uh, when you try to install uh, Chromium or Google Chrome or a simple screen recorder, it shows the uh, no uh, uh, fire system is red only, so you cannot install any application on the live USB. Even if you have a pers persistent install on the on the USB flash drive. So anyway, so what you gotta do here, uh, you got to click on the install to hard drive here. After you do that, um, I but before to do that, I, I open the departed and I show that I, I have uh, I have um, the SD, SDA one is the EFI system partition. I made a custom partition with 2.05 gigabyte because I'm planning to install 25 operating system on this hard drive. Second partition, SDA2 is the Microsoft Resolved Partition. SDA3 is the partition for, uh, for Windows. And the SDA4 is Ubuntu 16.04.3. And the SDA5 is the Linux swap 1.1.96 GB. So I have a space of uh, one. 109.32 gigabyte. So I w uh, all the videos that I'm going to do, I will custom custom install the operating system. So I'm going to show how you can do that. So when you double click on the install, it's going to come up this screen. So you select your language and uh, the keyboard and click continue. Uh, you select uh, automatically uh, if you are connected to the internet, it will uh, change the language on the installation. Uh, for, from the IP address, they know what language you, you what country you're from. So automatically they set the keyboard type, the time and date, and they change the phone English to, to the other language. Um, but I decided to leave on English. So you have this. If you want, if you want to change, this is the main uh, main screen here. 
So if you want to change the keyboard layout, uh, if you if you use a special language, you just type there, and it will show there. So you select the, the after you've done, you click down on the top on the left, top left. Then uh, you the time and date. You select where you're from in the world, and uh, automatically, if you have the internet connection on, it automatically will find where you are. And then click done. Uh, here you can use whatever name you want for your computer name. Uh, if you want to leave local host, local domain, it's up to you. You, you can change to other easier. So it's up to you. So after you're done, click done. And then on this part here, uh, you select the, the, the first hard drive, the SDA. It shows that I have uh, 809.32 gigabyte free. So you, you select the, the hard drive and plus you click on the custom. And then what you're gonna do, you click on done on the top left. On this part here, uh, you uh, you have the option to, to automatically create the partition. That's what I've done. To make it easier, you, you let the, the operating system to create the partition. But after creating the partition, we're going to delete the one that we don't need. We won't need, uh, since this is a triple boot, we already have the EFI partition and you already have the swap partition. So, uh, I want to show how I add it. So, on the home partition here is a big partition. I changed from 754 to 2444. Then the, the boot partition I changed to 20 gigabytes. And a label, but uh, I prefer um, it. It automatically it didn't see the, the swap partition. So what happened is um, um, I I let the, the the second yes SDA partition there. So I deleted the the I only left the SDA the boot FI partition. You don't touch that partition. The home partition you can delete. I'm gonna go back here so you can see. So the SD you only need the, the SDA7 and the swap partition. So SDA7, SDA8. S, the SDA9 you can delete and the SDA6 you can delete too. So after it deleted, it looks like this. SDA um, the SDA1 is the EFI, you leave it like that. The SDA8, I changed to, from 20 gigabyte to 20 gigabytes, or you can change, you can add a bigger size if you want to. I left the swap partition, but I could delete it, delete it if I want to, because I, I have two, two swap partition on the system. And uh, it didn't see the other swap partition. And um, I, left, I label Fedora 26. After you're done, you gotta click on the where you see the mouse here, where you see the update settings. You have to click that to update the settings. After you do that, after you do that, it's gonna it's gonna show that uh, you're gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna create an entry on the boot EFI partition, which is as is my on my computer SDA. And uh, the way I show how to custom install Windows 10, the EFI partition is SDA, not SDA2. If you don't custom install uh, uh, Windows 10, and then uh, it's gonna be a boot partition with uh, 20 gigabytes. Uh, swap partition, I didn't need that partition, but I'm going to use it, it's 3.87 uh, gigabyte. 
So after you do that, you click on done. You click on done here. And then you're going to say that you're going to create a partition, a uh, swap partition, SDA6, and you're going to create a partition, a boot partition, which is going to be SDA7, and you're going to format both partitions. You click Accept Changes, and you click on, on, you click Accept Changes, and then uh, you, you're going to see that uh, to start the installation now, you just have to do is click on begin, begin or begin, be, begin installation or begin installation. And then now you're going to create a, a user password, a username and password, a username and password, and the root password. To make it easier, I like to, to add the, the username and the, and the root password, I like to use the same password. So uh, it's, uh, it's only me that use the computer. So if I want to add uh, other, another account, I can create another account and uh, for other people to use if, if I need to. So you use, uh, if you want to use your full name, it's up to you. Use a name. You click on make this a user administrator. Don't forget to do that. And, uh, and then uh, create the password. Click after done, click on done on the top left. The root password can be the same one or a different one. After done, click on done. And now the, the installation started. I'm just going to show how, how it looks. Install software. Starting bootloader. And the installation is complete. Uh, now uh, you just have to do, um, when you click quit, you want to be able to surf the internet and use the live USB or DVD with no problem. Uh, with the pin, if you quit, if you click, uh, then it will reboot the computer and then you cannot do anything. With Fedora, when you click quit, it will quit the installation, but you still can use the live DVD or live USB. So, So uh, that's it for now. Um, I just want to show something here. Uh, I will have, uh, I will update this video, I will upload this video. This video is going to be on the folder uh, called uh, the operating system world. And uh, don't forget to check it out the multi boot playlist. It, it has all the, I will have up to 25 operating system on the same hard drive. I'm going to use a notebook computer. And I will have up to 25 operating systems. This is the video 3 out of 25. And uh, I will show how to. My next video is going to be with Fedora. I will show how to install Google Chrome, Opera, Vivaldi browser, um, Fedora, uh, how to customize. I will show how uh, I will do a review. The review is, is one of the best GNOME 2 interface. I really like the. I really enjoy using. Um, I really like using uh,
I really enjoy using uh, using um, Gnome Two Gnome Two uh, when it was um, when it, um, I I really enjoy using Gnome Two, and they still do. Uh, to me, yeah, it's the, one of the best desktop environment out there. So um, I will show how you can customize this uh, on my next video. But in my next video, I'm going to show how to install Google Chrome Opera and without the browser. And then, and then I will do um, um, I, will sh I will show how to customize it. And also I will show how to um, I'll do a review of uh, Fedora Mate. I will have a Fedora playlist on, on YouTube, so make sure you check out the playlist there. Um, this video, um, so the next video is going to be how to install Google Chrome, Opera and Vivaldi browser. If you like this video, please uh, share, like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.